killer. What is going on guys, it's Gamer here, back again with another Borto episode review, and today I'm going to uh, try to double upload, uh, if, it, if I don't double upload today, then the, uh, the episode that just got released this week on uh, on Wednesday, that will probably go up tomorrow, but I'm going to try to actually double upload today, I'll, I'll have enough time to do it, that's if I don't get like distracted by something, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into uh, the episode review. Uh, because it might be it might be a little bit shorter I'm gonna try not to make it as short as possible but I'm not gonna make it extremely long at the same time so let's just get into it the episode begins off with Boruto and the rest of his class outside with Konohamaru and basically Konohamaru is showing uh, the summoning jutsu and the summoning jutsu just basically allows you to summon any inanimate object or animal to just be able to summon wh wherever you are in the world as long uh, as you have a contract with a certain with a certain animal like let's say like a frog or a snake or, or just something like that any animal uh, wherever you are in the world as long as you sign a contract with your blood then you're completely fine to summon uh, that specific animal wherever you are so basically he's just showing off uh, the fact that he's able to summon up a, fro uh, a frog like Jiraiya and Naruto and so it kind of goes off he's, uh, he's like making fun of Konohamaru and stuff and stuff like that because all the girls are like like oh my god duh, 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 whatever right whatever fucking girls do and they're pissed off at him for being the way he is even though it's stupid the whole episode basically goes off being around that like because of all the shit that happened it's because it's Boruto's fault because he did it uh, they're, they're literally like they're the class full of troublesome kids that's uh, that, those have been there have been rumors going on about that, and Boruto actually tries to uh, summon up an animal, but he can't because he doesn't have a contract with like let's say a frog. Everyone's just like wondering like what the hell is he doing? Uh, Sawada even calls him like an idiot multiple times uh, within the episode. We actually get a little bit more interaction with her as well, which uh, we haven't really seen too much of her. But this episode, we actually got to see a lot of, uh, of Sarada, uh, which I liked, you know, because, you know, she's the daughter to Sakura and fucking uh, Sasuke. So it's just like, why haven't we, like, really gotten any interaction with her, with Boruto and Sarada? It just didn't make any sense, you know, considering that the fact that Naruto and Sakura and Sasuke were all on the same team as children, as children, you know, it just didn't make sense to me. That's, that's that's the point. They go off saying like you need to do this and that or whatever if you want to summon up an animal. But before they can do that, uh, they basically just kind of have to get the gist of like the summoning jutsu uh, as a as a whole. So if you remember Ten Ten, uh, she's able to summon up uh, basically a whole bunch of ninja tools. So they have to basically do that first so that way they can get the gist of it, etc. etc. They'll they'll move on to be able to summoning animals soon, but not right now, of course, obviously. They continue on, they continue on. I'm gonna skip a couple of scenes because it's it's kinda stupid. But basically the girls and the boys of the class are going off saying like you're stupid, no you're stupid, stuff like that. Just classroom stuff, whatever. It's all dumb. Saying that they're childish. And then uh Konohamaru and Shino actually are talking about how this generation is full of rivalry and competition, which it is. Kinda hilarious, but you know, what can you do? So they all go out after class to basically just go and eat. Sarada and Boruto actually ordered the same thing, and then they argue about that. So what do you know? <laughs> but uh, they're arguing about that. They kind of go off. They're getting mad. Sarada takes the last, like whatever the fuck it's called. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try to butcher it. But because they're arguing about that, they go ahead and they try to get into basically what is a fight. Shino jumps in. He's like. Uh, no, you're not gonna do this here. We're actually gonna do it in a proper way. I guess it's a proper way. I don't know um, But basically there's a flag on top of the school the Academy school and both teams of Consisting one of boys full boys and the other consisting of full of girls are gonna try to get to the top of the school and then basically 
captured a flag, and then whoever wins, uh, the loser has to listen to the winning team. And so they go off, they're going throughout the whole school trying to get to the rooftop. I'm going to skip a couple of scenes, I apologize for doing that. But in the beginning, uh, Iwabi, I believe that's what his name is, I can't remember, I apologize. Uh, he uses uh, an Earth-style mud wall, so that way he can actually stop the girls from continuing uh, towards the entrance of the academy. And then uh, later on, there actually was a trap that got set off, and then, Sh and then uh, Shino was like, "Oh yeah, you probably want to know that I set up a couple of traps throughout the whole school, so you kind of have to be careful about that and use teamwork." And then basically, all of the fucking t uh, team of like dudes, they all leave besides Boruto, Sh uh, Shikadai, Inojin, Denki, and Metal. Metal Lee. They, they're all just like going throughout the whole school. They're doing their own thing, kind of showing off like the character or the cast. Like, like Shino's kind of like narrating like everything about these about these characters and stuff like that. It's kind of weird. I don't know. I don't know why that was so important. But they're going out throughout the whole school. Uh, Denki is like really uh, into like technical stuff. So he actually goes like and hacks throughout the whole school. Uh, barricading basically the entrance to the top of the, uh, of the roof, stuff like that. It's kind of it's kind of it's kind of like a funny thing that happened because they're freaking out because uh, Enogen actually uh, used the Super Beast Scroll to uh, conjure up like uh, uh, like a frog, and apparently frogs are really gross to them. They're like stereotypical girls, so they're like really creeped out by it. But Borza decides to set off the sprinklers inside the school so it basically just gets completely destroyed they move on and then basically Boruto has a plan to use a summoning jutsu if uh, if he can whilst uh, whilst he's going towards the rooftop with his shadow clones they'll basically just lift him through the air uh, whilst uh, Shikadai and Inojin are actually distracting uh, the girls that are actually inside trying to get to the rooftop Boruto makes it to the top they use paper bonds to basically blow up the the entrance way so that they can get in, and then uh, they're at the rooftop. But something actually kind of happened. Um, Boruto actually ends up uh, successfully completing the summoning jutsu, even though he doesn't have a contract with anything, as far as I know. And he conjures up uh, what looks like to be a snake. It looks like to be a snake, but also, if you guys remember uh, the creature, the black figure, I guess, whatever, with that e uh, the like evil like purple aura surrounding him, he kind of shows up as well uh, throughout uh, because of the summoning jutsu. It's really weird, and so the uh, Chojo. Uh, Akamichi, the part uh, member of the Akamichi clan, obviously, falls off the fucking roof. Boruto's like, ah, nah, I'm not gonna let that happen. Catches her, uh, and so did uh, Shikidai and Inogen. They actually help out Boruto so they don't actually fall off the damn roof. This figure is just like kind of standing over them. No one can see it apparently, besides Boruto. It's, it's, it's weird. I don't, I don't really know. It's. I, I, I'm just confused to what the hell is actually going on. It's so just weird. Konohamaru jumps in like a beast and uses the Rasengan on the fucking thing. Gets completely destroyed. They're on the roof. You're like chilling out. And then someone... And then the character... I don't really know her name. I apologize for not knowing her name and being ignorant. That, but she catches the flag. Uh, they're all just kind of like exhausted for, for what the fuck just actually happened, right? Uh, uh, and then, you know, like, like I said before earlier in the episode, uh, whoever wins, the loser has to listen to them. But they decided because, uh, you know, Boruto basically kind of helped out, uh, Jojo whenever, like, she needed it for not falling off the damn roof, of course. They kind of just were like, whatever, it's, it's fine. We'll, we'll let it slide for this one time, but that's basically it. Uh, they're they're about to leave so they can go fucking eat or whatever school completely falls apart uh, Literally Shino was in the middle of talking and like how about you need to clean up the school first completely gets destroyed And Konohamaru is just like how the fuck did Boruto summon up this creature? With only the amount of chakra that he had and I, I still still really have no clue 
Uh, actually, it's kind of funny because whilst I'm actually making this commentary, I'm looking for like a sixth thumbnail to use. And the, the thumbnail I'm going to use is the first uh, scene that we get to see of Mizuki. I believe that's how you say his name. Uh, I, I remember in uh, uh, the dub, I guess, for uh, Road to Borto on Storm 4. I think it was either Porto or or even Sarada. They called him Mitsuki, and I was like, "That's probably not how you say his name, but whatever." So we finally get to see Mizuki uh, for the first time, uh, and honestly, he's just gonna be there in the next episode. I'm very excited because when I saw him in uh, Road to Porto, we didn't really know anything about him. We just really knew that he kind of seemed like a Rochimaru, kinda, but also kind of not really at the same time. It's really weird. <sighs> but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video here. There's really nothing else to happen in this episode besides that final scene of uh, Mizuki. Uh, after I'm done editing this video, rendering it, and uploading it, I'm going to actually go ahead and uh, make... Uh, not part two, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to record the next episode review. I'm going to try to put it up today if I honestly don't get lazy and I actually, you know, do it. <laughs> I apologize for these episodes actually coming out, or uh, specifically this episode coming out really late because, ah, my neck just got, I just got cramp on my neck. I don't know how it happened. But anyways, I'm sorry for this episode uh, coming out so late. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video now. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to drop a like. And if you're brand new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day. Peace out.